One of the things I learned from my experience at Framingham, where I taught women in prison for 10 years, is that theater, writing, art, all have the power to affect your life. During my time there, I taught many writing classes, and I taught many literature classes, and I directed eight plays. And I saw women who really thought they weren't worth a lot come into a situation where they discovered that people thought their writing made sense, that their insights about a text made sense, and that a book could actually get inside them and affect them that a character could be someone they wanted to experience, to bit, whose shoes they wanted to walk around in for a while. And something about that art really grabbed the women and allowed them to, in the, on one hand, be totally who they were, totally inside themselves, and yet totally outside themselves. And that is what I think is so amazing about art. It, at one, on the one hand, we are, it can be exactly who we are. We write a poem, and we are, it's cathartic. We say something we really wanted to say. And yet, when we read that poem, it's not ours anymore. It belongs to a world greater than us. It's outside us. It's in uh, the art world. And it belongs to someone else who identifies and says, yes, that's my story, too. Art has the power to transform. I'm going to tell you a couple of stories to that effect. Um, Dolly, who is out of prison now, talks a lot about how when she played the character of Antonio in Merchant of Venice, that she didn't believe she could learn those lines. She didn't believe she could get on that stage. She didn't even believe the rest of the women could do it. But when she did it, when she found that she was inside that character, she forgot not only that she didn't believe it, but she forgot that she was in prison. Not really forgot inside herself, but for a few moments, she forgot that world. It allowed her to be some part of herself she hadn't been in touch with for a while. We all have that power. When you write something and someone else tells you that it's important, all of a sudden you look at it differently. When you draw a picture and someone else tells you it's beautiful, you look at it differently, and you look at yourself differently. 